To the west of the Eriski Causeway and some of the more sheltered parts of the Sound of Barra, a series of sandbanks known as the Witches or Nabuchich in Gaelic rise to within a few metres of the water surface. They are shallow enough to support dense swathes of one of the few flowering plants that can live beneath the waves. This is an eel grass meadow, an underwater grassland that is amongst the world's most diverse and productive marine ecosystems. The meadow forms a key food source and nursery habitat and is home to a wide variety of animals. The long leaves and roots of eelgrass help trap and bind sediment suspended in the current. In this way, the plants build up shallow subaquatic sand dunes that can act as a buffer from storms, protecting the shoreline from erosion. The Sound of Barra has some of the most extensive remaining areas in Scotland, and exploring them with a snorkel is a perfect way to reveal this important hidden world. In spring, sand eels begin to emerge from the seabed to feed on copepods and other planktonic animals. Growing up to 30 centimetres in length, they can often be found in vast shoals and are themselves a hugely important source of food for the thousands of seabirds that breed around the Hebrides each year. These razorbills, for example, are perfectly adapted to hunting underwater. Their short, powerful wings allow them to fly through the water with incredible speed and agility in pursuit of their prey. Ornithologists have shown that razorbills and other species rely almost wholly on sand eels to feed their chicks. Unfortunately, the numbers of seabirds have declined dramatically across Scotland in recent years, which may in part be due to a decrease in sand eel numbers and the effect of climate change. The largest razorbill colony in Britain lies only a few miles to the south. Boat trips to Mingley and Bernary are available locally and make for an unforgettable day out.